meets my skin Even with my eyes still closed I can feel it coming in Golden, golden. I'll follow only golden 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 thing Please Please in spring rainbow trout and hummingbird wing golden I'll follow only golden 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 things gold hair gold ring Hello you guys, welcome back to another vlog. It is the afternoon, I'm starting the vlog later because this morning, well I'm just PMSing like really bad, I probably will get my period like tomorrow and for some reason it's just hitting me all at once. I felt like dog shit this morning, like cramps, my back hurt, the whole kit and caboodle really. So I just did not want to vlog this morning. Lila took a nice like 45 minute nap. So I myself fell asleep and I'm so excited because today I'm starting adult ballet classes. It's not like, like it's every Thursday, four o'clock, you pay like $900. It's just like drop-in classes so I can go whenever I want. And there's a few different studios around here that offer them. And I've wanted to do this forever. I danced in high school. I danced before high school. I loved it. Was I very good at it? No. I think I really could have been good at ballet if I had started when I was younger. But I love ballet. I always have. Even just watching it on TikTok. I follow so many professional ballerinas on TikTok. I just love it. And I think it's such a fun form of exercise. It's a great hobby, it's good for your mind, and it's good for your body. So I'm so excited to get back into it. So excited. So the class is tonight at seven, I think. Let's check. I think it's like an hour and a half long. You do a full bar and then a full floor. So excited. Yeah, so I'm just doing my makeup for the day. And I'm definitely going to be wearing makeup to class because when you stare at yourself in the mirror for an hour and a half, you know, things can get pretty negative in there, especially because I'm PMS in. So I went to our local dance store yesterday to get tights. I ordered some ballet stuff on Amazon because obviously my leotards no longer fit. So I had to get new tights, but I didn't think they would come in time, but they should be here actually. The woman said, no dress code necessarily, but I'm gonna wear a tights and a leotard and just like sweatpants over it. So if everyone's really like cash, I won't take the sweatpants off because I hate feeling overdressed. I hate being underdressed too, but I still have my leg warmers and I ordered black leg warmers because I just prefer black, but I have pink. I got my ballet pink transition tights so they have a little hole at the bottom. I'm gonna wear shorts tonight with my tights because I'm feeling really bloated. So these are just regular athletic shorts. I also have a skirt, but again, I'm feeling really bloated because of my period. So I don't know if I wanna do the skirt. And I got this leotard at the dance store. I might have to return it because it is big. I figured I would need an extra large because my torso is so long, but now it's, just loose enough to the point where it's like not supported at all on top or tight. So I don't know, I might return it. And I also ordered a leotard on Amazon, which is pretty similar to this. So if I try on the Amazon one and I like it, I'm probably gonna return this. Then I have my ballet flats from high school. So I ordered a new pair because initially I didn't really like these, 
But what I found was I was able to tighten this a little bit more, this um, elastic in the shoe, and I cut, I don't know if it's really called a shank when the shoes are like flats, not point, but I cut the shank out, which is what is in the arch of your foot, because it really like made my foot not be able to point all the way. It just looked really bad because this, I don't know, like cardboard, I don't know what it is, just wasn't flexible. So I ordered another pair of flats, but if I like these, um, no, if I don't really like love those, I'm just gonna wear these because there's no reason to get new yes. ones, they're fine. But you didn't miss anything this morning because I literally laid on the couch with Lila and was dying all morning. Cheese. But I'm so excited like to have a hobby, to have a passion. I've been trying to find a hobby for so long and I've always wanted to go back to ballet. So I don't know why it took me so long. But I wanted to be able to find a studio where it was actual adult ballet and not like bar, just like workout or like adult ballet and then it's like no offense like i i love senior citizens but like senior citizen like workout you know so i think i found a good studio very excited i like burst a blood vessel in my eye right now i'm gonna put some lipstick on and if you're wondering if i can hear the answer is still no it's definitely better than last week like the infection is definitely gone. I don't feel the pressure. I don't have pain in my ear at all, but the hearing is not back. It's better, but it's not back. Come on, Lila. I, give, I gave Lila a whole bunch of random stuff to play with on the floor. That's it. I'm gonna make Lila lunch, change her, and then we're gonna go play O-U-T-S-I-D. I can't say the word or else she won't leave me alone. I'll follow me golden, 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 golden things. Always find your way to higher ground May you always keep your head held up high Pretty little thing You're a diamond in the rough Shining from within I can tell that you're tough Just the sight of you when I'm at my weakest point Makes a world of difference, oh, you make me strong Pretty little thing, you're a diamond in the It's 3.30, I'm just doing some meal prepping for Jesse. He finally, well we think, figured out what's wrong with his stomach. He's had stomach problems forever, but they've been really bad like the past year or so. He got a colonoscopy and an endoscopy last year, which revealed nothing. So his gastro was like, okay, that means it's IBS probably. Like there's nothing you can really do about it. Like kind of just like didn't help. So he saw a new gastro who put him on antibiotics because that doctor thinks he has SIBO, SIBO, S-I-B-O. It's like a bacterial overgrowth like in your intestines, I think. So he has to eat for the next, I think like eight weeks, like a, it's sort of like a low FODMAP diet, if you know what that is, but it's even stricter. So he really can't have much 
and like he can eat meat some vegetables like barely any fruit no gluten-free bread pasta like no bread or pasta at all he can only have rice or quinoa as carbs so i'm making him quinoa like oatmeal i made it last night so he could have it for dinner and because we were like what else are we gonna make and he liked it so i'm gonna make it again so he has breakfast for the next like two days or so i mean honestly i don't like it it has like no flavor because he can't have flavor he can put like some blueberries in it i'm like mm, sounds good i don't think i have the self-control for that even if i knew it would make me feel better i would be like there has to be a different way and he can have like I think cucumbers and carrots, like very cru not cruciferous, very like watery vegetables. Hi, where'd you get that? Did you get that in your room? I'm gonna be so sore tomorrow. I really hope I can make it through like the whole class without having to take a break because I was practicing my uh, plies before and I was like, wow. My legs aren't as strong as they used to be. Like I know I'm not as flexible as I used to be, but that's simple enough to improve. But like strength, you know, it takes a while to build and it's painful. So hopefully it's not too crazy. I'm taking the adult intermediate class because when I was talking to the lady yesterday, she said I could do intermediate, advanced, whatever. So I was like, okay, I'll just do intermediate because I don't want to embarrass myself. looks like it looks really good I've never done a one pot meal actually in one pot because I always get so paranoid about the chicken not being cooked but I decided to trust the uh, food blogger today just waiting for the rice to be done you guys know meat and rice don't mix very well I can never get it the right texture it looks like some of the rice is done that's not very helpful though so Maybe like five, ten more minutes. Okay, Jesse's out there with Lila, but I have to be quiet or else Lila's gonna wanna come in here and I just wanna change in peace. But I got my Amazon stuff in, so these are the flats. I think that's what they're called. That I got, uh, they're block, and I like these because they don't have any of that like cardboard or whatever in here. And then it's split sole on the bottom. So when you point your feet, like you actually can see it rather than if it had a full sole. I feel like it really breaks it up. Then I got this little bolero, which is actually just cute to wear like with a regular shirt. It's just like a little shrug sweater. So I got to try that on. This is the leotard I got. It's just really plain. It has a low back which I didn't really realize, and it just has a little ruching right here. So I'm gonna see which one fits better, and then, I don't know. I obviously, like if I plan on continuing and going to more than one class a week, we'll need more than one leotard, but we'll see. So here it is. It just kind of looks like I'm wearing an all black outfit, because this just looks like a tank top, but I really like it, and I really love this bolero, even for just like regular outfits. So cute. I 
And then I have my tights on over the leotard. I know that's a big controversy in the ballet world, but I don't plan on taking my shorts off. And I just hate the way I look in a leotard with the tights underneath. I look like I feel naked almost. I don't like it. So I also got these black leg warmers, but I have pink ones. So I don't know if I want to do black or pink. All right, my camera died again, but this is what I'm going with. I just put a sports bra on underneath this. You know, back in the day in high school, I didn't have to wear a bra at all with my leotards, but now things have changed. So this, love this bolero. I just realized it has thumb holes. The arms aren't quite long enough for me, but. And then I'm just gonna wear sweatpants to the class and leave them on like if people seem really casual, you know? Some drop-in classes, people wear like athleisure, like gym clothes, and then some drop-in classes, everyone is in like a uniform sort of, so I don't know. But sweatpants, and then I'm bringing leggings to put on over top if everyone is like not really doing the whole ballet thing. <laughs> bringing my skirt just in case, doubt I'll wear it, and then my shorts, which is probably what I'm going to wear. I'm gonna bring both pairs of shoes, but I really prefer these because they're just so much more comfortable and these are really just not it. I'm already, I need to put shoes on. I think I'm just gonna wear Uggs, but let's go, I'm so excited. God, it's freaking cold. I'm leaving pretty early because I have to get gas, which, why do I always have to get gas? And second of all, I want to get there kind of early, so maybe if the studio's open, I can like warm up because I literally haven't stretched in a really, really long time. So like maybe I can't touch my toes. Like I don't really know. I made it, I'm so nervous. I'm actually like not nervous, but I have really the worst cramps and back pain because I'm getting my period as I said. And this morning when I woke up and it really hurt, I was like, oh, I can't go today. Like I'm not gonna be able to do my best. My back is killing me. Advil didn't even help. But I was like, fuck it, just go. And who cares if it's not your best? Who cares if, you know, you look like shit or whatever, just go and see if you like it. So that's what I'm doing. Well, <laughs> it's 6.40 and the doors are still locked and it's dark in there, <laughs> but their Instagram says that they have class tonight. So I don't know, perhaps I'm just too early, but it's 6.40, the class starts at seven. Maybe like no one goes to it, I don't know. I saw an older woman go in she was not dressed in ballet clothes. Perhaps she's in the instructor or perhaps she works here at this office building. I don't know, but I'm watching a sus someone, a suspicious person who's looking in everyone's cars and he just went in this Honda Civic and took a bag out of it. But I don't know if it's his car. I like don't really think it is because now he's walking away. I don't know if I just witnessed a crime. <gasps> now he's peeing behind the other car. He's peeing behind the van. Ew, it's fucking light out, weirdo. Oh my God. Ew, it's running down the street. <gasps> okay, now he's getting into another car. The car in which he got out of in the first place. So he either stole something out of that car or it's like his friend's car and he was grabbing something for them or it was like a drug deal or I'm watching too much billions. It's like a money laundering scheme. I don't know, but I'm not leaving until he does because I will not fall victim. But I literally put my Rio de Janeiro spray in my bag just in case because that's, I would be really upset if I lost that. 
Like I don't want to get out because I feel like he's totally going to steal something out of my car. Okay, we're going to park somewhere else. I don't like it one bit. I don't like what he's doing. All right, we're going in. Let's pray to God there's someone in there. really good really difficult i don't think the royal ballet will be calling me anytime soon <laughs> but it was really good and an amazing workout i don't know i gotta check my watch but it was really good i couldn't vlog in there because it was like three people actually it was three people including me and then the teacher and there was one older woman who was definitely like a pro ballerina in her time And then a guy who like either is doing it for fun, maybe physical therapy, and then myself. And I definitely remember a lot of stuff, but I definitely forgot a lot of stuff. And my balance is off because of my ear infection. And also my balance and posture is just fucked up from having a baby. So stuff I have to work on. I don't know if I'm gonna make it to tomorrow's class. That was ambitious, but now I'm gonna go home. Let's get started, drive safely. It's nine o'clock, class was supposed to end at 8.30, so we ran a little over. I, wait, we gotta see how many calories I burned. Two hours, almost a thousand calories. That's crazy. Guys, also, the mirrors were like funhouse mirrors. You would think it's ballet studio. They're going to invest in some mirrors that don't make you want to die. But I couldn't even look at myself anymore at the end of the class. I was like, I got to get the fuck out of here. I need a tan. I got to lose 30 pounds. This is bad. But I think it was just the mirrors. Maybe. All right. I got to go home because I need to take a shower. I'm home. But I wanted to say one more thing. It's so funny, like when I was in high school taking ballet classes, the studio I took it at was not like a ballet studio. It was more hip hop focused, but they offered ballet classes for their like competition team so that the girls could learn technique. So I just joined those classes, even though I wasn't on the competition team because I wanted to do ballet and that was the studio I was at. All the girls in that class were such fucking like they weren't even bitches like it was bad they were so mean they would make fun of me under their breath like he 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 like I wasn't not that they were good at all like not to be mean but they were not good but either was I but they were so mean and I remember like every thing that I would do like across the floor or center that I didn't know how to do or I was doing it badly I would be so embarrassed because I knew they'd be making fun of me but now I'm 29 years old going to this ballet class I haven't done ballet in like over 10 years and I don't give a fuck like you know I don't know the what's it called like the bar those little like chunks of dance moves that you do what the hell is that called I don't know I don't know the choreography and I don't give a shit. And no one else cared. No one was like, oh my God, look at this idiot. Like, get her home. She's so stupid. Like, no one cared. So it just shows, like, as you grow up, you really care less about what people think of you. And honestly, after I had Lila, I really stopped giving a shit what people think about me. One thing, though, the teacher, you know, she was like, oh, I kept calling you Katie because we used to have a girl in the class whose name's Katie and she had a body like you. I was like, a body like me? What the hell is that supposed to mean? If you guys are young, you're in high school, college, post-grad, you didn't go to school, I don't really care what your deal is and you are like so afraid of what people think of you, as you grow up, you'll grow out of that. I used to have to go to therapy for social anxiety because I couldn't get up in the middle of class and go to the bathroom without like panicking. And now I'm like, if I shat on the floor right now, that would just be what happens. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> no, I don't think I would let that happen. Probably. But I'm going to go in now because I'm a sweaty beast and I need to take a shower. So I hope that all brought you some solace. If you're feeling like a big dumb idiot, don't. Because everyone else feels like a big dumb idiot. And um, even if they don't, 
that person's probably just an asshole and they have no friends. So, you know, it's okay. And also, I only drank like a quarter of this monster, but I'm absolutely not going to be able to fall asleep tonight. I feel like I got hit by a fucking car. <laughs> morning but barely i just put lila down for a nap it's almost 11 it's not looking good that she's gonna fall asleep i am so freaking hungry today last night i didn't eat dinner i had that like protein cookie and i only ate like half of it and i was going to bed i was so hungry i was like okay i'm not getting up i was able to fall asleep though the energy drink did not keep me up um so this morning I'm friggin' starving. How did I go grocery shopping on Monday and we have no food? Like we have random snacks, which are more so like for Lila and then raw meat and raw vegetables. Like what am I supposed to eat? But I'm probably gonna do my makeup soon just so I feel a little bit more put together. Yes, I'm very sore in very strange places from yesterday, but it's not as bad as I thought it would be. So that's good. There's still time, I guess. Um, I'm really hoping Lila falls asleep because I just want to rot in bed. She woke up pretty early today. So I just want to lay here and do nothing. I've been loving watching KK and Baby J's vlogs. I go through phases where I don't watch any YouTube and then where I watch YouTube. I'm kind of like in between right now, but I love their vlogs in the spring and summer because their house is so beautiful. They live in Florida, right on a lake, I think, and their house is just beautiful and it makes me want it to be summer so bad. I I also wanted to talk about this, so I guess I'll do it now. I've started doing some pro bono stop. This has happened to me three times. I go to say pro bono and I say pro boner. <laughs> I started to do some pro bono legal work. I was looking on the New York State Bar Association's website, just like browsing the website, and they have pro bono opportunities listed. So there was one of them that, I don't know what the website is called. I'll link it down below. But it's essentially where people can sign up and ask legal questions. And I guess the questions get approved by like, someone on the website maybe i don't really know and then attorneys have to register with the website and you get approved and you can answer those questions to people and they can respond and you can go back and forth but it doesn't create a attorney client relationship you don't want to establish that if you like don't want to be someone's attorney because it really puts you at a liability for malpractice a whole bunch of stuff so that was one thing I was really looking for with pro bono. I did not want to get clients because I don't have, you know, malpractice insurance. I don't have client trust accounts, all of that stuff. And 
my main goal with this obviously help people but also i really want to expand my knowledge of just all different areas of law this doesn't include criminal because you can be appointed a free attorney if you need one if you got arrested or something but it's all civil matters and i just really want to expand my knowledge on everything when i started my first job as an attorney i was in real estate law which is really niche really really niche and i just really want to keep learning and growing and eventually like yes i do plan on going back to work that's like my number one question i always get asked i do plan on going back to work i just don't know when i'm raising my daughter right now but with that being said i don't want to lose all of my knowledge and i love to learn i was actually considering getting an llm just because like i really like to continue learning but a lot of people think that llms are pretty much useless unless it's like intellectual property or tax law which i don't know they're kind of not wrong and i definitely don't want to practice tax law that's for sure so for now i'm doing this it's been really i don't want to say fun but very educational because i'll take on topics that i know stuff about but then i dive into so much research for it to be able to properly answer these people's questions and i'm really like going above and beyond probably what's expected of me on this website but i love doing it because i just like to learn and it literally makes time fly by and i just enjoy reading and writing and researching so that's what i've been doing i just started the other day because i just got approved but that's one thing you can do as an attorney well it's suggested or recommended that you do a certain number of hours of pro bono every year as an attorney you don't have to but it's recommended so if you're interested in doing pro bono but you know you have a full-time job or you just otherwise don't have time to take on clients like that or you work at a firm where you can't take on you know your own clients i would check that website out because it's really fun i mean fun's not the right word but it's interesting and it keeps your brain working and that's what i want i don't want to you know stay home and become victim to tiktok brain rot which i think i was becoming victim to so it's always nice to be able to use your brain i've also been looking at job postings for research positions not like full-time attorney basically attorneys contract out researching for a brief or writing a brief or writing different motions or just research in general so i've been looking at some job postings for that they're a little bit harder to come by and you kind of have to build a portfolio of your work and research which i don't really have because the job i was at previously didn't really require anything like that i do have a lot of writing and research from law school which i could use but yeah, those are just things I'm doing. I, the thing with, you know, going back to work is not only are you committing to 50 hours of work a week, like at least, most jobs have pretty much moved away from work from home. When I first like started to be a stay at home mom, you know, I would occasionally browse indeed and just like different websites and job postings and they still at that time had a lot of work from home opportunities but now it's like none all the law firms are like 100 percent in office and i get it I, I mean who am i to judge but it's not something i really want to do right now because if i had to work 50 hours a week i'm basically leaving the house at 7 a.m and i'm not getting home until like 6 7 p.m probably and lila would have to be in daycare she wouldn't have to be in daycare that entire time because jesse would be able to get home earlier but she would have to be in daycare at like 7 a.m the way i'm preparing myself for the workforce eventually when i return is just continuing to learn and read and write and help people because you can put that on your resume 
pro bono stuff. So that's what I've been doing. Because the number one question I get asked is when are you going back to work? When are you going back to work? When are you going back to work? So I don't know if you guys want me just to go back to work. You want me to suffer? <laughs> but I don't want to suffer right now. I feel so much better. Before I just felt like a trash bag. I can hear you within the silence. coffee on Instagram and it looks so good so I'm gonna make iced coffee even though I do not need caffeine at all it's 3 30 but I won't Yeah, me. No, me. Every night. And I will watch you. Breath after breath. Hold on. So beautiful. And if you fall, I will catch you. now it's Thursday last night Jesse put Lila to bed and she would not sleep unless one of us was in the room with her what am I looking for my light <laughs> she would not sleep unless someone was in the room with her I do not know what's going on she's just not been sleeping well I want to take her to the doctor and make sure she doesn't have like an ear infection or something because last time she had an ear infection, like one of her only symptoms was not being able to sleep. Um, I don't have my car currently because Jesse, like I'm just wandering around, I can't find this freaking light. Jesse had to get his transmission replaced, so he's using my car today. Lila, thoughts on where the light is because you have it last? Oh, it's right here. Good job, thank you. 
and my legs are so sore okay yesterday i was like slightly sore but nothing crazy today i can't lift my legs off the ground unless i like pick them up with my hand but i'm just gonna get ready for the day chelsea's gonna come over later and we're gonna hang out this was way too much moisturizer um i have to clean up the kitchen that was way too much bronzer i'm just a mess i have to clean up the kitchen because it's a disaster as always i have to do laundry and we're having jesse's family over for easter and whoever else wants to come probably chelsea and james some of our other friends but my parents maybe okay like that's not the point so i have to like actually clean not just touch up you tell me you're scared you tell me you're you think and I know it's hard yeah I know it's rough I just had toast with cream cheese with Lila well Lila's eating mainly cream cheese and I'm gonna clean the kitchen now I don't know if this looks weird but in an effort to wear something different than the usual t-shirt i'm wearing this i got this from abercrombie last year but it never occurred to me to wear it unbuttoned because when it's buttoned like it's just it pulls on my chest and it looks bad lila you look insane right now with that cream cheese so i'm wearing it open i saw a girly on tiktok wear it like that but i don't know like i feel too exposed with it open so I'm buttoning the bottom part, but does it look weird? Probably. Of course I have to change the battery on my camera and then I'm gonna clean. We'll make it through And I'll back you up Wherever you're going, I'm going to I'll follow you through the black and the blue Whatever the mountain will come to the next Honey, I'm with you through life and to You're afraid I wish you could see that I think you're brave And if it all falls If it all breaks Someone didn't nap. Also, Miss Rachel just put out a new video, but it looks like it's just bits and pieces of other videos put together. But I don't know. 
Um, it's like 12.30, Lila never napped, so I just did the laundry, I cleaned the bathroom, and I picked up all Lila's toys because she took every single one out of the toy box this morning. So we're gonna make lunch, Lila. She's gonna have macaroni and cheese and like fruit salad, but I don't know what the hell I'm gonna have. And now I'm thinking about what to make for dinner. Um, and I'm very limited since Jesse's on this like low FODMAP diet, even though I could make something else, but like I would never want to make two meals in one night. So we have chicken, but it's like, what can I really do with the chicken? Cause you can't have like a lot of different things. And I'm going to make quinoa. Uh, yeah. Or rice. Cause that's like all you can have, but it's like, ew, I don't want that. Honey. Follow you through the 